Hey guys, it's Annie back with another video and in today's video I am sharing with you guys a new feature of YouTube's that I am super super excited about. YouTube has just announced a brand new feature that is slowly about to start rolling out that is called Handles, which is pretty much just as the name states just like over on platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Handles are essentially a unique at that every single creator on the platform of YouTube is going to have, which is essentially an effort that is being made by YouTube to help every individual creator on YouTube have their own identity on the platform. Among a whole lot of other reasons and features that come with handles that I am very, very excited for, one of the number one biggest reasons I so cannot wait for this feature is that as somebody who has had many, many, many people try to make fake accounts with my name and my profile picture, try to be in the comment section of my videos, trying to lead my subscribers and viewers to sketchy and fishy websites. Now having this super cool new feature that is going to basically give you a handle beside your channel name on every single part of YouTube's platform, I will now be the only channel on the face of YouTube that can possibly have my own unique handle and absolutely no other fake accounts or bots or fishy accounts can possibly have my handle, which is also going to be really nice for other creators and other much less sketchy and fishy situations, where in a lot of cases, because there are over over a billion channels on YouTube's platform. Sometimes two creators just happen to have the exact same name, which makes it a lot harder to find the account or channel that you're looking for if you were to search for that channel on YouTube and have multiple results come up as search results. So now let's say that you are searching for a channel on YouTube where the channel name is Haley Williams, which just so happens to be a very common name that I've seen many, many different channels having that exact same name. Now that YouTube is rolling out hands, Handles, if you were to search up Haley Williams on YouTube, you are still going to have multiple of those channels with the same name coming up in search results. But beside every one of their names, you're also going to have their unique handles to make finding the one that you're looking for a whole lot easier. So that is one of the many, many reasons and features that I am so excited to have handles coming out for. So common question number one, where exactly on YouTube is your handle going to show up? So firstly, you're going to have your handle beside your channel name on your channel page. So just like on TikTok or Instagram, if you were to go onto my YouTube channel, you're going to have first my channel name where it usually is, but then beside my channel name, you're also going to have my new handle. Also, like I said, you're also going to have your handle beside your channel name in search results. So again, if you were to search up either my name or Haley Williams or any other names on YouTube, right beside every single channel that comes up in search results, you're also going to have their unique handles beside every single channel name. You will also have your channel handle beside your name in the shorts feed, just like in Instagram Reels or in TikTok feeds, so that if any viewer on YouTube were to have your shorts pop up in their feed, they'll be able to tell right away based off of whether or not your handle is right there beside the content, whether or not it is in fact your content. One of my personal favorites, your handle will also be beside your channel name in any comment section, whether on your videos or somebody else's. So again, if anybody has made a fake account or a bot account or a fishy account with your name and your profile picture, anybody else in the comment section will be able to tell right away based off of that handle whether or not it is in fact your account. We are also going to have our unique channel handles beside our name in community posts, which will number one, again, make it easier to tell whether or not the community posts are actually coming from your verified account, but also make it a whole lot easier to tag other creators in your posts if you are doing some kind of a collab or some kind of a shout out or something like that. And then also among the list of all the different sections of YouTube where all of our handles will be popping up, YouTube also says and more, which I am taking to mean that it will also pop up in other sections of YouTube that they have not specified or we have not thought of. Now also something else that is really, really cool, because your handle is a brand new and unique way of directing people directly to your channel, we will also have a new form of channel link to help us directly link people to our channels. So that rather than before where somebody had to go onto YouTube and search for your name, go through all the various search results looking for your specific channel, now whether you or somebody else is trying to link somebody directly to your channel, all they have to do is go to youtube.com slash at and then your handle, which is going to help us as creators to redirect people directly to our channels a whole lot easier than when we had those old channel IDs full of like letters and numbers and symbols that literally 
nobody could remember. We are now going to have much nicer looking and much cleaner looking links to put in our Instagram bios, in our websites or blogs, Facebook pages, and whatever else. And also make it a lot easier if somebody were to DM you or text you asking for a link to your YouTube channel, rather than having to go back to your channel and copy paste the link and send them the link, all you have to do is just text them youtube.com slash at your handle. And also really, really nice if ever you have put your old channel link in the description box of your older videos, if it's in your past blog posts on your website, if you have mentioned your channel link elsewhere on other platforms, we actually don't have to go back and change all those old links for our new ones because even though we are getting a new handle and a new channel link, YouTube has actually said that both our new links and our old links will both be functional, which is really nice because as somebody who has over 200 videos on my channel, I really don't feel like having to go back and change every single one of my descriptions. Now, I'm sure another very common question that comes with basically every new release of a feature on YouTube, who exactly will have access to this tool and when? And YouTube has actually answered that very, very easily and told us that absolutely everybody will have access to handles and there will be absolutely no requirements necessary. So unlike monetizing with AdSense or your community post or live streaming, there are absolutely no requirements necessary to claim your handle and everybody will have access. However, YouTube has also said that there are over a billion channels on YouTube where all of us will have access to claiming our handles. So because that is a lot of different channels to be rolling out handles to and allowing all those channels to claim their unique handles, YouTube will be gradually rolling out this new feature and letting people in groups of different creators claim their new handles. YouTube has specified that based off of things like your audience size, your channel's activity or inactivity, that will determine where in the pecking order you get to claim your new handle. But they have also said that absolutely everybody should have their new handles by November 14th and absolutely nobody will have their handles visible on their channels until absolutely everybody has claimed their new handles. So even if I was able to claim mine on October 12th and you don't get yours until November 3rd, for example, just because I got to claim mine before yours doesn't mean I will actually have my handle on my channel before you. YouTube will ensure that everybody on YouTube has claimed their handle before we get to actually start seeing them and using them. Another question that I actually saw often that I had myself when this first came out and I first started hearing about this is whether or not those of us over 100K subscribers who have our verification badges, now that handles is this new way of verifying and officiating channels, will we still be keeping our badges and can channels in the future get their badges once they reach 100k? And the very simple answer to that question is yes, along with our channel names and our new handles, we will still have our verification badges on our channels. So when you're on your channel page in the comment section and search results, whenever you see your channel name across YouTube's platform, you'll be seeing your channel name, your handle, and your verification verification badge. So if one day hitting 100k and getting your verification badge is something you have been looking forward to, then rest assured even with these new handles and this change to YouTube, everybody will still have access to verification badges. So now as for the big question, I'm sure everybody who is not already aware is asking themselves, how do you actually go about claiming your unique handle for your channel? So like all of the other features YouTube has ever rolled out, like I said earlier, they are rolling it out gradually, person by person in groups of creators. But basically how it works is until the time that you are able to claim your unique handle and pick your handle, YouTube has essentially reserved your channel ID as your current handle. So if for example, your current channel ID is Charlie Loves Brownies or something like that, then until the time that you are able to go in and actually claim your handle, YouTube has actually reserved your channel ID as your handle. Then once it's time for you to actually pick your custom handle, you will get both an email from YouTube and a pop-up in your YouTube studio that will take you directly to the page where you can actually change your handle. In my case, I definitely did not want my channel ID to be my handle, so I was able to tell YouTube, no, I don't want my pre-reserved handle, I want to pick my own. And also one other really cool thing to note about picking your unique handle that I've noticed through kind of messing around with it myself is that there doesn't seem to be any kind of a limit on how many times you can change it.
budget. So if you were to claim your handle today and decide tomorrow, next week, a month, a year from now that you no longer want your handle and you want to change it, in that case there doesn't seem to be any kind of a limit on how many times you can change it. So you can definitely go ahead and pick your handle knowing that in a month or a year you can absolutely change it. Then as for the last question I'm sure a lot of other people are wondering, when do we actually get to start seeing handles on YouTube's platform? So like I said earlier, YouTube has let us know that we will not actually be seeing any handles on YouTube until absolutely everybody has selected their own handle. So since November 14th seems to be the date that YouTube has given us to when absolutely everybody will have had that opportunity, I'm going to go ahead and guess that somewhere between November 15th and the new year is when absolutely everybody will have a handle and YouTube can begin to show us. Personally, I was able to pick my handle on the 12th of October, but I'm not 100% sure how many other people got to pick theirs on the same day. Not really sure how many people daily are being offered that opportunity. So I have absolutely no idea how many channels between now and November 14th are left to still pick their handles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that somewhere between November 14th and the new year is when they will begin to roll out. I'm sure just like any of the other features that have come out on YouTube, once you see it, you know that it's there. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much everything that I had to share with you guys about this brand new feature of YouTube's that I am personally very, very excited about. Hopefully this cleared up any and all questions or things you were wondering about this new feature. Maybe you are in the group of people who had no idea this was even a thing or that this was coming. In which case, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you all for watching. I love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!